scanning or imaging or blood test actually does not aid in the diagnosis of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is treatable. Now, schizophrenia follows a different course in different individuals. But the golden rule is that the earlier the people are diagnosed and brought for treatment, the better results we are able to get. Medications which are available to treat schizophrenia are usually referred to as antipsychotics. So how do these medications work or what these antipsychotics do is they fix the chemical imbalance in the brain. And as the chemical imbalance in the brain is fixed, then the symptoms such as the paranoid delusions or paranoid beliefs, uh, the hallucinations, the abnormalities in behavior gradually begin to go away. Once the symptoms are taken care of, then we start the psychosocial treatments. Now, psychosocial treatments would include psychotherapeutic techniques, psychoeducation of the individual as far as the illness is concerned, right? Helping the individual understand the illness, the need for medication, the need for treatment. And the other stage followed by this is the stage of rehabilitation, which essentially means that having the mechanisms and processes in place in order to integrate the individual back into the society and try to get the individual to some active form of work and responsibility. Schizophrenia is a complex disorder as I've already mentioned. Perhaps one of the big challenges of modern science to understand the origins of the disorder, the symptoms of the disorder. But treatment has made significant, significant progress.